This is a continuation from Getting Started with Teacher Notes. Let's get started. So, first off, let's just take a quick look at editing notes, okay? Uh, Aaron and Joe blowing bubbles. It's great. Let's take a look. You can tap, double tap any word within the note, and you bring up a little menu in the bottom here, okay? What is this menu? Well, first of all, maybe we just want a quick snapshot of what's going on in this note. What children are in this note, what content areas, what domains, maybe the exact time when it was taken. Tap the button in the bottom left here and you'll see. This tells you a lot about this note. It was taken at 11.19 in the morning. Joe and Aaron are the children. It has social emotional as well as physical in its domains and doesn't have any content areas. Okay. Let's look into something else here. What's this one? Uh, this button here is the edit button. This is how you can edit a note after you've taken it. Let's tap it. Brings up a little screen here. So this has everything you need to edit a note in it. Here's the note that you took. Aaron and Joe blowing bubbles. Maybe we can tap it in here. Bubbles with Sally, right? I don't know why we need a capital there. So I'll uh, take it. hide the keyboard. We want to add Sally onto this note. And maybe we feel like it has a different kind of domain now. Physical, social, emotional, maybe it's also cognitive. We can change anything about a note in here that we want. And we could also edit the picture, or delete the picture, or we can add in a movie here. We can even change the date it was taken. Let's change the date to, I don't know, how about yesterday? Okay, done. You can see the date's changed here. And we'll file it. Whoa, the notes rearrange themselves. Well, Teacher Notes automatically arranges notes in the newest to the oldest notes. So since we made it so that note was filed yesterday, it's automatically rearranged to the bottom of the notes. Um, let's also take a quick look at what happens when you edit an assignment. Because it's a little bit different than a regular note. When you edit an assignment, you'll actually get the same screen you filed it under. And you'll see that uh, the kids who are not filed are still in the right-hand row. And you still have all your kids who have given you the assignment here on the left. You can tap around, saves all your um, criteria. And maybe, you know, maybe Joe handed his assignment, but unfortunately it was below average. So easy to just add them into that criteria. Tap File. We've now changed that assignment. All right. Let's just take a quick look at the last buttons on the bottom here. So tap any word again, highlight a word in your note and you get this menu. If you want to email this note you took to maybe Aaron's family, you can tap the little mail button here and it brings up uh, everything about this note. Aaron and Joe blowing bubbles with Sally. That's great. Maybe the children. You see it. Joe, Sally, and Aaron are in this note. Domains with social, emotional, cognitive, physical. You can change this. Don't feel bad. Maybe you don't want to give all this information to your parents. It's easy. Just tap here. Maybe you want to select uh, none. You can bring it up like this. Oops. It's not as easy as I thought, I guess, right? But pretty easy to delete all this stuff. You don't really want it there. And you can see, also, the photo is attached to the note that you're going to be sending to maybe Aaron's mom. Okay? Just tap in there. Email there. All this jazz, okay? But we're not going to send this right now. We're going to cancel. We're going to delete that draft. Finally, you can delete a note if you want to. Just do, you know, highlight a word in the note you want to delete. Hit the garbage can. And it'll make sure you want to delete it. Personally, I don't really want to delete this note. So now I'm going to tap off of the note, and you'll see that the menu hid. If you ever want to send all your notes to somebody, just as you see them on screen, tap this little mail button in the bottom. Here are all the notes you've taken, just like it shows on screen. So maybe you want to just email all the notes of one kid, one child, to your instructor, or your friend, or probably a colleague. Um, tap that mail button, and it'll just mail whatever's on the screen at that time. So the last thing we're going to look at here today is sorting your notes. And like I said earlier, when you're filing your note, you get that menu. You can choose the children, the domains, the content area. And I told you that would really help you out when you're trying to sort through your notes. So this is where it would really help you out. Right now, I only have three notes. But you know, you take a lot of notes. 
you might have hundreds, if not thousands of notes, and you really easily just want to see the notes you've taken on one person in one content area in one domain. Well, in teacher notes, you can definitely do that. So once you have all your notes and you just want to see what's you know a certain book, maybe you just want to see Aaron's notes, tap over here, sort, a little menu will pop up, tap Aaron. Okay, these are all the notes you've taken on Aaron. Maybe you're only interested in his social emotional notes. Well, tap domains, tap social emotional. Here you see Aaron, social emotional, here's the note. Aaron and Joe blowing bubbles with Sally. Now you have Aaron's notebook of only social emotional contents, social emotional comments that you've taken. All right, so that's pretty much how that works. And one last thing you might be thinking is, what's this assignment? Well, like I said, when you're filing an assignment, um, it actually gets put under the child name assignment. So tap assignment, and you'll see here we'll have a list of all the assignments that you have created in teacher notes. And as a result, you can easily check to see who's handed in what at any time. Okay, so that's really getting you on your way to starting off with teacher notes. You're pretty much like almost an expert. Um, we're going to have one more tutorial that shows you maybe some more in-depth features of how to start off taking notes without having to set up your class as much, or maybe take a look at the, how the calendar function works. Remember, if you want to sort your notes just by day, there is a calendar function up here. I'm not going to get into it right now. There's also this graphing function where if you have a lot of notes and maybe you just want to take a visual representation of the notes you've taken, you can, you, you can graph them. All right, That's especially useful when, again, you have hundreds if not thousands of notes. But for the moment, we're going to end this tutorial. Oh, actually, one more thing, Alad. How about we um, also just talk about this search button? Again, if you just want to search by word, you can also type this search button and take a look by word. So I'll even type right here. I just want to look for math. You know, there's the one, the one note that was on the screen that said math at that time. Anyway, for real now, we're really done. You're ready to use teacher notes. You're almost an expert. Head off, take the best notes you've ever taken.